Winston Edmondson here with Drew O'Brien from Cloud Air. We've got a lot of action going around your booth. Tell me what you guys have going on. Oh, lots of things. So, you know, we've had a couple of exciting announcements in the last six months. Uh, we GA'd Impala, which is our real-time uh, SQL query engine on Hadoop. And then just last uh, couple weeks ago, we announced uh, Cloudera Search, which is uh, a Google-like search interface that runs on Hadoop based on uh, Solar and Lucene. So a lot of exciting stuff going on, lots of people stopping by wanting to find out more information. So it's, it's been good so far. That sounds very exciting. I mean, it sounds like this is something that's going to make this more accessible. I mean, for a lot of people, uh, it seems like, yeah, we need, to extract, we need to get this data. We need to get information from it. But how do we do that? You're providing something they already know, a search bar that they can just go after it. Exactly. That's exactly what we say. If you can use Google, you can use Cloudera Search. Uh, so it opens up Hadoop to folks like lawyers and doctors who may not know SQL. They may not know how to code pig or hive, but uh, you know they do know how to do a search. So uh, you can identify data, find data very easily in large Hadoop clusters, and then and then do with it what you will. Uh, it's also good benefits for more technical folks like data scientists. They can use it to uh, identify data sets that they want to work with more granularly. So maybe they want to find out every piece of data in the cluster that has a customer ID associated with it. So they can search on that, identify that data set, then pull it down and do all their other magic in SAS and R or whatever tools they're working with uh, to further uh, further their goal. So Fantastic, I love that. Now you talk about the platform. Uh, kind of describe what, what you mean by that. As in, uh, uh, the, yeah, your, your, your tagline here. <laughs> uh, platform for yeah. big data. So basically what it is, is uh, it's a collection of open source projects. You know, Hadoop technically is just HDFS and MapReduce, uh, as well as some common libraries. So what we've done and, and um, is compile a number of other open source projects governed by Apache, as well as other just Apache license projects, into a cohesive system and platform for big data that does everything from storage to computation, uh, uh, facilities for integration with other tools, for access via different different things like Search and Impala. So providing a much more complete platform than just the two components of HDFS and MapReduce. So we bundle in things like Flume and Scoop and Uzi and Impala to make the, the product more useful, wrap it all up with management software to make it easy uh, and centralized to manage. So. I'm glad I got a chance to talk with you because with the search bar, you really are making this more accessible. Uh, when you think about a search bar, after the fact, it's like, wow, why didn't we think of that before? What else, what other features uh, do you think will, will make this more accessible to the, to the everyday uh, IT team? Uh, that's a great question. Um, and, and really, our vision for the Hadoop platform is data becomes centric. You have a central store where you put all of your data from across your enterprise, and depending on who you are, depending on what you want to accomplish with the data, you bring a different tool to bear uh, onto that, uh, that single central source of data. So, you know, originally we had MapReduce, which was great for batch processing, and then we're bringing in other tools like Interactive SQL with Impala. We've, we've created Search, which is a whole new uh, uh, category of user who, who may not be as technical. In the future, we'll see even more things through integration with partners, like uh, we're working very closely with, with SAS and Revolution Analytics to bring statistical computation for data scientists. Uh, other things like Storm and Giraffe. And, and so you'll see, uh, really, the Hadoop platform become commoditized as, as a central place to put data, and then a number of different tools that you can bring to bear on it, depending on, on who you are, what your goal is, and what you want to do with it. I like that. Uh, you talked about lawyers in particular as uh, being able to take advantage of something like the search bar. What other industries do you think are going to benefit the most from uh, these tools that you're making it so much, uh, so much simpler to jump in and, and, and dive into that data? Sure. Uh, retail is a big one. So especially for retailers that are online that deal with multiple different vendors, like maybe maybe it's an online presence that sells from you know, 50 or 100 different sub-clothing providers, uh, you know, they can use search to identify, uh, you know, and, and further categorize the data that they have on their site to make it more accessible to users. So maybe they use it to improve the metadata around. So if I go to, uh, to their site, I'm looking for a blue polo, I can make sure that if I type in a search for blue polo, I get all the results that will come up and the most relevant and that other things are excluded to make it my shopping experience more seamless and more relevant. Uh, so retail will be a big one. Um, uh, we mentioned lawyers and e-discovery. Uh, healthcare is another big one. You're looking for certain diseases or, or certain patterns or certain uh, demographics for a population sample, uh, things like that as well. So it really it applies across industries. It, it, it's going to be a very powerful. I mean, think about Google. Uh, who doesn't use Google these days? And it's, it's a similar type of a thing.
I say that. Do you, it feels like in the future we won't understand how we how we operated without these technologies. <laughs> you know, it's, yeah. I mean, right now it seems fresh and exciting, but it's so it's going to be so beneficial that um, I think we're we're going to wonder how the heck we functioned before. It's exactly <laughs> right. You know, it, it, and that tends to be how things progress in this industry. Like something comes and it kind of changes the world, and then you become dependent on it. Like uh, even think of Facebook as a good example. Uh, you know, it was something kind of novel a couple of years ago, and as I remember when it started, you had to be a college student to even get on it. And now, it's like, you know, <laughs> imagine a life without Facebook. You know, even even a corporate life. A lot of the PR and, and marketing campaigns you do are centered around social media. And and I, I think uh, from a technology perspective, an infrastructure perspective, Hadoop will have a somewhat similar impact as the platform matures, as it becomes more capable, and as as you know, uh, companies like Cloudera continue to work very hard to develop its capabilities. Pretty ubiquitous at this point, uh, or at least moving towards that. Uh, there are a lot of individuals uh, that, that manage data centers that don't have the imagination to just look at your 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 product and your suite of services and understand how it's going to benefit them. Um, is there on your website resources that can help them look at a number of case studies that can just kind of help uh, inspire them to say, "Wow, this is something that I could actually use." Yeah, absolutely. Um, we have a solution section on our website. It talks about how Hadoop can be applied to different verticals. We have uh, some white papers on different use cases for financials, for retail. Um, it's easy to find. If you go to our resources tab on our site, you can, you can search by content type. You can search by keyword. Uh, a lot of resources there. We're going to continue to improve that, continue to do a better job. Because that's a big challenge still, right, is, is to... Uh, to bring it down to something that everybody can understand and, and realize the value. Yeah. And so we're going to continue to work very hard to, to make it more terrestrial. And just cloudera.com, that's the website? Cloudera.com, that's mm -hmm. right. Uh, I know you have to run. What is the biggest takeaway that you want uh, folks that pass by or that are at home watching? And uh, what, you know, what message do you want to push out there? I would just say try this stuff for yourself. <laughs> that's the beauty of open source. Uh, go to our site. Uh, we have a number of things that you can download without any cost whatsoever. Bring it down, kick the tires. You know, you can you can listen to to vendors like us talk about this stuff all day, but at the end of the day, the best way to figure out if it's going to work for you is to give it a try. And uh, with open source, it it makes it so much easier to do. I encourage you all to do it. Go to cloudera.com/downloads, pull down the software, give it a try for yourself. That's what I would say. There it is. Give it a shot. Winston Edmondson here in front of the Cloudera booth. Lots of lots of action here. Wish you were here, but uh, we gave you what, what uh, you can view it all at home. Studio B, signing out.